everyone, it's Teresa from Teresa Garrity Photography. I hope everyone is doing well and is safe and healthy. I decided to put together a quick tutorial for my newborn clients to help them take some beautiful portraits of their baby while they are quarantined at home. Unfortunately, I am unable to schedule any sessions right now, um, but I do want my clients and all moms to be able to have beautiful photos of their newborn. Today I'm going to be using my daughter's doll as a newborn stand-in and I'm going to show you how to do a classic swaddle pose. I am just going to give you a few tips on how to choose the best light for your photos, how to pose your baby the best way, and even how to get in a quick photo with big siblings. All you need is a cell phone, a basic swaddle, some onesies or undershirts, and your baby. So the best place to take these photos, in my opinion, is in the master bedroom. Most of the time you have the most natural light in there. It also allows you the opportunity to take really natural lifestyle images, which is mostly what I do. Anyway, and if you booked me, that's the style of photography you probably are looking for. Once you are in the master bedroom, you want to make sure, number one, that your overhead lights are turned off. You want to only use natural light. And you want to choose an area in the room that has the most natural light coming in. You want that natural light to be soft and even. You don't want harsh lines of light coming in like this. You want to make sure that your comforter is a nice neutral color, whites, ivories. If you don't have a neutral color comforter, get a large blanket and place it over the comforter. So you want to start by swaddling baby. So the key to the, a good swaddle is to just make sure you get the baby in there nice and snug and secure. I like to use white noise while I'm swaddling. Babies sometimes will get a little restless and maybe cry when you're swaddling, but typically once you swaddle them, they do calm down, they find it soothing. Okay, so once you have baby swaddled properly, it's time to find the area in the room that has the best light. Looking at the bed, I see that the most light is coming in from this window here as opposed to the window on the opposite side of the bed. When you position baby, you want to make sure that you're pointing the top of baby's head towards the window light on an angle. So the next thing I would do is I want to make sure that baby doesn't roll out of this position and I also want to elevate her head to eliminate shadows and also just to create a more aesthetically pleasing image. In my studio, I use what's called beans underneath the comforter to do so. But what you can use is rolled up onesies that you can just position behind baby and underneath. I like to take this photo of baby in a couple of ways. The first way, get down low and get the full length of the baby with the bed in the background. Okay, the second way that I like to take the photo is I like to get above baby and shoot looking down. Getting close so that I'm shooting from about the shoulders to the head and I get a nice close up of baby's face. Okay, so once you're done taking photos of baby, you can bring in big sister. So Vivi is going to be my model going to start with a pose that works best for toddler age children. Are you ready? Can you lay on your tummy, baby? So when you position big sibling, you want to make sure that his or her face also is facing the light source. Right here I'm looking at Vivian. She has a little bit of a shadow, so I'm going to adjust the light. Keep your hand here. One hand here. Position myself a little bit above Vivian. Okay, look towards me, Viv. Oh. Kiss one more time. So another pose that you can do with baby, if sibling is old enough, is have big sister sit against the pillows. Both baby and sibling are facing the light source. 
When you shoot the image, you want to make sure that you're slightly above the subject, angling down. Look at me, Viv. You also want to get in the frame if you can and have dad take a picture of you, mom, with baby and sibling. So again, I'm following that same rule that all three of us are facing the window right now. It may feel a little awkward, like the way I'm sitting is a little awkward, but you want to make sure that you are positioned in the best light possible. Vivi, can you lean in and kiss baby? I hope that these tips were helpful and you were able to get some beautiful pictures of baby. I look forward to working with you in the future. If you have any questions about any of the tips, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Stay safe and be well. Thank you.